This was a really interesting read. How to Read a Person Like a Book by Gerald Nirenberg and Henry Calero. Uh, hope I pronounced that right. I don't really know. Who cares? <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of care. They took the time to write this book. I should pronounce their name right. But anyways, uh, this was actually such a good book that it made me buy another book on body language, which you can see right there. And it talks about exactly what you think it would talk about. <laughs> uh, just being able to read people's movements and their body positions. And this was like this one was okay. It was really good, but at the same time, it was just okay compared to that one, which I'm going to do a review on pretty soon. Um, but it talks about, you know, arm crossing is defensive. So if I do this, I'm putting a barrier in between me and you. Um, you can't really see because of the video. I mean, right now you could, I could be looking really open and honest or whatever. But this could mean, like, I'm trying to hide something or I want to be defensive. Uh, this could mean I'm uncertain. I really just have an itch on my head right now. <laughs> but that could mean uncertainty, but like touching your head. If you touch your mouth when you say something. I know it's kind of awkward. No, that's not how people touch their mouths. But, you know, if you say something, you know, you kind of go like this, there's a really good chance that person's lying because they're trying to hold something back. So, this book is all about body language. And it's really good. It's a really useful tool. Um, the only thing I am going to complain about is that, like, it doesn't give you instructions on how to use body language into your advantage. It's more about how to read a person like a book but that's what it says that's the title says but really cool like body language is really interesting uh <laughs> so interesting to study so yeah uh would i recommend this i would but no because there's this book that's so much better the definitive book of body language and does that mean this is a bad book no but it you're just save your time and read that one so if you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe, please comment. I'm always pretty good about getting back to you on that. Uh, yeah, and I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this. I might have already said that because I'm really freaking tired. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so keep in touch, and I will see you on the next book review video.